Hey everybody, it's Allison here with my friend Sandy. Hi. Sandy and her husband Landon run Tight Lines Construction and uh, Sandy and Landon just helped a recent client who happens to be my sister <laughs> do an economical kitchen refresh at her house that she just purchased here in Lafayette. So today Sandy and I were going to show you what they did and what decisions they made. So let's see what they did. start with the countertop. This is an upgrade we did. This is quartz. Um, we chose white with gray veins. Another upgrade that we added was the overhang here to make this um, counter seating as well. This was around zone two, so it's about 65 square foot. So the total for her countertops came to about four grand. Um, that also comes with your cutouts whenever you purchase your countertops, which is nice. That's a good time to replace your sink, which we did, um, and also your hardware for your sink. And then you can add like a soap pump or disposal button. She has um, a water filter as well, so that's a great upgrade as well. Um, the next upgrade we did was the paint for the cabinets. This we chose to do to save money instead of replacing the cabinets. This came to about three grand instead of custom cabinets can go around 20 grand. Um, cabinets that you get at Home Depot would run in this size kitchen about seven to eight grand. Um, so this was a great refresh without going too crazy with the budget. This is um, evergreen fog. It's a really beautiful color. Um, goes with a lot and kind of brings the outside in. The other upgrade we did was the tile. This is a kind of a more economical pick on Zalige, which is a really um, popular tile right now. It has a lot of variants. You can see the texture in it as well. We decided to go all the way to the ceiling with the tile above the windows, which is a nice upgrade. Um, these were about $1.50 per tile, and that's the price range you want to stay in when you're trying to um, keep your price lower, I'd say, because you're really going to be paying for the labor when it comes to tile. The tile was about four fifty to five hundred. Um, the labor was around three thousand. Um, so that's where you're going to be spending more of your money. Um, the last upgrade we did in here was the hardware. It's a really beautiful hardware. I got this on Build, but they do sell this on Home Depot as well. So I like to just shop around for, once I find the hardware I want, I like to just shop around. You can use Google Image, you can use Pinterest um, to kind of find the best price for you. But these were around $6 per piece. So that's a good price range as well. Awesome, Sandy. Thank you so much. It turned out great. Thank you. Yeah, it's really beautiful. As always, we appreciate your help. Bye.